guys. Come on in. So welcome to the Hutlandville Art Show. Uh, you guys don't know who I am. I'm Brandon Johnson, the creator of Hutland, and I'm um, excited to be back in Fayetteville. This brand is originally based in LA, but now we are able to come to Fayetteville and give you guys a taste of what we've been working on. So come on. Come on in. So me and my team have been working on this project for a little while now. And we have so many pieces here. A lot of the pieces were made here in Fayetteville, so that's, that's the cool organic part about it. All these pieces here that you see, I, I made here in less than a week for you guys. And I'm excited for you guys to see it. So, uh, a little about myself. My name is Brandon Johnson. Uh, grew up here in Fedville, went to Pine Forest Middle School, High School, uh, played football, uh, all that, but outside of school I was a huge artist. I really didn't take any art classes in high school. It wasn't until college where I really dove into that. But my experience here in Fedville definitely helped me become the artist I am today. And I'm, I'm, I, I, love, I love our town. So I considered myself an artist at like a young age. I remember drawing cartoons. Uh, I was really into Looney Tunes, Tom and Jerry type stuff. I remember just mimicking that style on paper at like the age of six, seven, eight. And um, after that, just, just became the artist I am today. So I draw inspiration for my art um, from what I grew up watching, a lot of the old cartoons. And you can see that be resembled in a lot of the pieces here. Um, you know, Simpsons, um, my favorite cartoon growing up was Ben 10. I know that was a little bit, I was a little bit older for that, but that was a, a good, good place for me to get inspiration from. Um, and also people that I've worked with, uh, a lot of my team members that I worked with, they gave me inspiration. So the Hoodlands came from a, a show that I created years ago called Ratchet Rachel. And through that show, Rachel needed a sidekick and we created the Hoodlands. And during COVID, we weren't able to really produce any live action content. So I decided to take the Hoodlands away from Rachel for a little bit and make them their own brand. And now you guys see what that looks like. Um, and we plan on bringing the Hoodlands back to Rachel and doing the whole universe of Ratchet Rachel with the Hoodlands still involved. So the process of making the work is pretty easy, right you guys? Like, we come up with a theme and we just go at it. There really not that many barriers that are put up with the Hoodlands. Uh, they're very interactive for anybody. So kids can draw them, adults can draw them. Um, and we're just here to, to pave that, make that pavement for kids to be able to do it themselves. Yeah, a lot of it's just us bouncing ideas off each other and then we kind of all go and put our own spin on it. Yeah, absolutely. Hey guys, so these are the team members that helped me out with Hoodland Mania. Uh, we got Justin Babb. Hey, how's it going? We got Matt Jordan. Hey. And Nat Jordan. Yeah. So, I mean, what I want people to take away from the art that you see here is just to know that anything is possible. This was an idea that has grown into something a lot bigger now. We have other people working on it. Um, I just want people to be motivated, especially the people at Fayetteville, to be motivated to do whatever they're passionate about and to keep going. Looking at, looking at uh, Hoodlands, it's always really inspiring, even as an artist. Um, so you can kind of do anything with them, um, from really simple line work to really involved painting. Whatever, whatever you want to do, you can do it with Hoodlands, which is great. Yeah. Hey, I just got something. If you like the Hoodlands, go ahead and make your own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Point blank, yeah. You guys yeah. can make your own Hoodlands, too. So, I mean, growing up um, and just trying to make it into this art world, it was really hard. Um, a lot of the industry jobs out there are very clicky and I wanted something where it was my own and to bring on people that were like-minded to be able to do it as well. So that's why I created Big Footers so we can make our own original content and that's what we're doing now. We have a catalog with many other things other than the Hoodlands that we're ready for the world to see. Uh, but the Hoodlands is definitely our starting point and from there we can start to expand it and show, showcase our other stuff. Uh, so, in three years, we see the Hoodlands being a lot bigger than what they are now. 
Um, you know, we have plans to have them be video games, uh, to be on TV, uh, to be a bigger brand, uh, merchandise-wise. I mean, with the Hillens, we can really do whatever. We're sitting on like a multi-million dollar property here that no one knows about yet. Uh, so we're really at the starting grounds and just paving that way right now. Uh, for any artist that is looking to work with major brands, uh, what I would say is, even if the door is closed in your face to keep going, uh, what these brands are looking for is a good work ethic and a good portfolio. Uh, and you, you might really have to work really hard to get there, but once you get there, then you're in and uh, you'll be satisfied. So let me answer that one more time. Uh, to anybody that's looking to work with major brands out there in the entertainment world, I would say just, just keep working. Uh, build your portfolio. No matter if doors are shutting your face, just keep going because you never know who's looking at you or who you might meet. So I also run a nonprofit called Create Now. Uh, it's located in LA and what we do is we serve uh, youth that need it the most in our community. So a lot of the kids that we serve aren't seeing people that look like me or have the experience like me to tell them that they can keep doing what, what they dream to do. Uh, so what we do is we provide free art programming for these youth and it's not just art related. You know, we do culinary arts, fine arts, graphic design, singing, dancing, acting, any, any type of program that we can find funding for, we will give it out to these youth. Uh, so yeah, I just became the CEO about a year and a half ago. It's a 25 year old art nonprofit and we served over 50,000 kids in the last 25 years and we plan on serving even more. So the way that you guys can support what we are doing over here with Hilton Mania is just by liking, sharing, following, talking about what we're doing. Also, you know, buying a hoodie, buying a hat, whatever we, we have out there, you know, support us that way. And, you know, I have to say thank you to the Art Council of North, uh, North Carolina, the Art Council of Fayetteville, Miss um, Kathy Jensen, uh, friends and family that came out to the event. Thank you so much. And we hope that you guys love the show and can't wait to see you here.